am is where I always wanted to be since I was a little girl was financially independent of fellas. It's kind of pretty. Isn't it? I wonder yeah. what the food is like. Okay. Marvelous. Yeah. Where do you want me? Uh, we're going to have you in this chair. You got your first record contract when you were age 17. I mean, what was that like? Well, I, I'm sure a lot of female singers my age will laugh when I allude to this, but I got into the record business at a time when, you know, record executives were, were a little frisky, <laughs> put it that way. Not in a manner that they would, uh, you know, cross a line if you said no, but they would certainly try their very best, you know. So in some ways you had to protect yourself straight off, you know what I mean? If, you know, uh, you'd be better to have a bag on your head, really. Um, but they wanted me to grow my hair really long and wear mini skirts and all that kind of stuff because they reckon I'd look much prettier and all this stuff. So I went straight round to the barber and shaved the rest of my hair off. <laughs> I had grown up in a manner which I'm sure Oprah will relate to and I'm sure a lot of women will relate to where it was dangerous to be a female. So I always had that sense that it was quite important to protect myself, um, make myself as unattractive as I possibly could, you know, and I'm comfortable with that. To me, music is the Holy Spirit. I was a person who was going to jail. I, I used to steal and this, that and the other. I would, you know, that if I hadn't found music, I would have been in trouble, you know. And it wasn't open to me to be a priest as I was a girl. That's the only other thing I would have wanted to do. To me, prayer is actually dreadfully important. I'm not of any specific religion. I sort of, I believe everything and nothing. <laughs> But I, prayer is an enormous part of my pre-ritual everywhere we're going, and I even have the word pray on my monitor, so if I get nerves, I can focus on that. And I think uh, faith comes from knowledge and experience, actually, you know, when you've had experience, you can dedicate yourself almost like a soldier, and a soldier has to sometimes do things that are unpleasant. But